On this episode of Modified... <laughs> the low note. We're in Atlanta, Georgia. We're checking out Formula Drift. <laughs> So we're just outside Atlanta, Georgia at Kobe Works Drift Shop, checking out two of the cars we're gonna be using for our competition. We're here with a uh, co-owner, Tyler Klein. All your guys' stuff's really clean. It's super JDM. Always kind of been into Japan. Uh, as a kid, it was like Transformers just got sucked in, then found drifting, option videos. So everything's kind of styled in that style. That sounded bad. <laughs> <laughs> but tell us about your shop. You got a lot of cool cars here. So this one, uh, 91 S13, right-hand drive. The queen, the queen. model. Mm. The queen. Four-wheel steering setup. Yeah. Uh, and she's in A, but she's got Hikus, so she's awkward to drive. It looks yeah. fun, but I mean, this thing. 91 uh, Toyota Cressida, about 300 at the wheels. Well, let's go check out your, um, your drift car. All right. This is the third uh, coupe shell that I've run. Uh, my first one, Bought in like 2006, picked it up because I hated 240s at the beginning. But I wanted a car to learn how to drift, and I was like, oh, if I don't care about the car, I won't care if I hit anything or mess it up. You start driving them long enough, you start to fall in love with the car. Now it's a full built motor, top to bottom. Tomei 2.2 stroker kit, uh, full worked heads, EFR 6758, intake manifold, exhaust manifold, the whole nine. So how much power does it put down then? It's a 430 wheel, 420 torque at 17 pounds with a full boost by 3,400 RPMs. So like, do you put cat stickers on all your personal cars then? Like, uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, there's at least one hidden somewhere on almost every car. This one's just plastered in them. <laughs> I'm about like a foot away from the pedals. The only pedal that I can even reach in this thing is the gas pedal. So That's it's like, important. so I'll show him. I'll be ones. keeping up by necessity. <laughs> There's all these cool cars. I was getting kind of tempted. So we asked Tyler if we could take this Corolla out back and do some donuts and he said, sure. So we're going to have some fun. Make a bunch of noise. Maybe some tire smoke. It's pretty sick. It's fun. I mean, it's it's a it's kind of tight back here, but small car and you know Powers knows what he's doing. But and I think he just said that was the first time that he can remember that he's driven a Corolla. So that was kind of sick. But yeah, it was fun. A lot of fun. It's been fun hanging out with the guys at Kobe Works since they have just about everything a JDM head could ever want. So we're gonna head out to Formula D. But first, let's check in with Sam Dew and our Project Civic. On this update of Project Civic. We're at Hondata to meet up with the owner, Doug McMillan, to find out a little bit about his shop and where he came from. And so in the 90s, my business partner, Derek Stevens and myself, we found that people really weren't doing much and they didn't know a lot about what Hondas could do and what we're capable of doing. So we try and make sure that we are very clear in how we explain things and what the engines are capable of doing and the consequences of your tuning, what you can do, what you can't do, and things like that. So I hope that we can share a lot of what we've learned with the new 10th generation Turbo Civic um, with you in our tuning today. We're back at World Motorsports. In order to flash the car, Doug had a hookup to an OBD2 port and his laptop. And it's currently programming. You see the red flashing light. That's telling you that the program is going from the laptop through to the engine computer. The entire process takes about five minutes. So now that Doug has just installed the Flash Pro on our Project Civic, we're going to actually see how much more power it's going to make on a dyno. So let's go check it out. 
So after our ECU upgrade, we ended up with 168 horsepower at 5,800 RPM and 201 foot-pounds of torque at 2,900 RPM. That's over four horsepower and almost 30 foot-pounds of torque more than our baseline. We didn't quite hit the 20% peak power increase that I predicted, but we did get a 20% increase in peak torque, and we got a fairly massive increase in torque right through the driving range. We picked up about 10 peak horsepower, but I have a feeling that with the change of intake and a change of an exhaust, we may well see more top-end horsepower, but as far as driving experience is concerned, all of the increases in where you spend 90 to 98% of your driving time. So I'm excited. Perfect. Check in next time when we continue to modify this 10th gen Civic hatchback. We finally made it to Formula D and sure enough, it's everything a drift fan could ever want. It's crazy action. The loudest, smokiest, fastest sideways racing in the world. Let's go meet up with a couple of the guys to help make this event happen. We got Jared Deanda, the voice of Formula Drift with us. Um, you've been here since the sport started. Yeah, 2004, this very track, Road Atlanta. It's the womb of drifting in the States. You know, we saw you come into the scene, brought your own attitude, but now look at it, 14 years later, the evolution of the cars, the, the, the technology, the cars are just gnarly. You can't deny how awesome it is. I think it's the best track in the series. Um, it's the only track where we have a long straightaway going downhill at about 110 miles an hour. We pitch it completely sideways, yeah. about 90 degrees, going towards the inside clip, and uh, basically accelerating and creating a lot of angle, smoke, excitement for the show. We like doing what we do, right? Yeah. I mean, drifting is all about having fun and expressing yourself via a car. And you know, I say that drifting for me is the most fun that you can have in four wheels. Um, it's just great coming back here, you know, 14 years in a row, seeing all the same fans, new fans, old fans, old friends. It's such a family environment. Yeah. You wouldn't think that you would get so close to the other drivers. Mm -hmm. If somebody breaks, they're running through the pits looking through it for a part, somebody always steps up and says, hey, yeah. I have it. Just that community environment, it's, I love it. I can't, can't get enough. Uh, what motivates you to, to progress and stay at the top? Uh, I don't want to get left behind, man. <laughs> for me, driving is just my life. And everything around my life revolves around driving. Yeah. Everything else is just a chore. Yeah. What you have to do to the car, the money, the shop, the school, whatever, that's just a stepping stone to get me behind the wheel. How would things change over the years? A lot, a lot of that has changed has really come from the rule book and the way that judging is and the proximity of tandem and what the judges are allowing us to get away with now to make sure that we can get on a person's door and just, it's pretty much all in, all the time, on every tandem lap or else you're gonna get beat and aggressiveness and just the the higher stakes and just the quality of drivers and cars have escalated so much that a guy that qualifies 32 can almost win the event. It's just really fun to think about where we've come from, where we're at and where it's going. I, I just can't, I can't, I'm proud to be part of the drifting DNA. The evolution of the cars, the, the, the technology, the driving, just the sport has completely evolved and it's not stopping anytime soon. I'm here with Matt Fields, he's from the Drift Driver. Uh, tell us about your car, man. Just like we thought, yesterday was crazy. It was a huge smoke show filled with wild fans, fast cars, and a ton of horsepower. But now it's on to day two, and it's time for Jeff and I to compete. The goal of the competition, using three judges and several cars that we've teamed up with, is to see who can drive the best tandem and put out the biggest show of smoke. Let's get the competition started. All right, so we're starting our friendly team competition here, tandem competition. We have a professional Formula Drift driver of the Gum Out FRS, Ryan Turek. GT86. 486. Sorry, guys. Uh, <laughs> and then we have Brian Eggert, who's also a Formula Drift drudge, and Ryan Lontane. So we have some really high credentials here that will really nitpick all these uh, tandem runs, and uh, we'll see how it goes. 
I think Matt's going to do pretty good. So We'll see if he still has some Formula D skills left in him. Yeah, I think he does. That third car was not even out of the pits yet when yeah. we were initiating our <laughs> yeah. So I mean, you caught him at the end, so yeah. he got a little bit, but yeah, yeah definitely fell asleep at the wheel. Yeah, yeah. I think you already won, dude. Oh, <laughs> oh thanks, bro. Oh, appreciate that. I don't know, appreciate though. We got your second one. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> jump right into FDO. Yeah, yeah. Like, it looks that saying. comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was fun. Let's see what Jeff's got. as well as you did. But his team but overall killed But his team killed just you. killed you, dude. Style-wise, you can't beat that. Yeah. killed you. Oh, here goes Jeff's second round. I know I lost. That was really good. Oh, uh, yeah, no, no, dude, bad, don't sweat it. Our first one was solid, dude. Uh, they took me out, so I lost. Sorry, man. I mean, your lead run was, or your chase run was insane. I was like, wow, why is that dude still driving in competitive drifting? But at the end of the day, I don't care if I won. I had fun yeah. with everyone. That's what drifting is all about. Yeah, I mean, we had a really good time. We had a blast. Um, you know, win or lose. It was a really fun weekend, and you know that's what drifting's all about. If you like this episode of Modified, there's a brand new one on Motor Trend on Demand. Check it out. Eibach is the meet that you have to go to. This is the mecca for Honda fans. This is like the first model that ever came out turbocharged in the United States. G meter engaged. Let's do it. You ready? This is one of the biggest Honda meets in the whole country. Yeah. Now we're just psyched to check it out. Yeah. Tell me which one you like more. S2K? I like this thing. That's what I like from here. Thank you. I appreciate that. Watch the latest episode of Modified right now on Motor Trend On Demand.